Hi girls and boys! Welcome to Elementor Tips and Tricks video clips. Today we'll be talking about overlapping columns in Elementor. I suppose you all have seen these blocks of content with an image on left or right hand side and then text box on the opposite side, while the text box is covering or hiding part of the image. You can see I have a couple of these on the screen right now, one of which is having the text box on left and the other one on the right hand side. So something like that will be the subject of today's tutorial. These two example blocks of content on the screen were made by using Elementor. Do their columns overlap for real or not? Sure they do, in a visual sense 100%, but technically they actually don't. From the common sense point of view, if you are about to achieve something like that in Elementor, you would definitely use columns, one of which should house an image widget, or use image as a column background, while the other one should house the text box. While having two columns side by side, the goal is pretty much obvious, to push or shift the text column box atop of image column, in order to make them overlap. The most likely, that push includes usage of negative margin, right? Well, not exactly. Why? Well, best way to answer is to create some and see why exactly. I'll open Elementor and show you step by step how to reproduce these two examples. At this point you might be confused with what you see here, but rest assured it'll all make sense very soon. As a part of this tutorial, I will demonstrate a couple of non-working methods first, all with an intention to provide responsive proof and rock-solid solution that actually works properly. First I'll create a new section by clicking on that plus icon of my existing section. That's how I can create a section atop of it. Next step is to drag and drop what inner section widget onto the section. Two columns are created by default, which is exactly what we need. Now, we don't want any spacing between columns, so highlight inner section, go to layout tab, already there. Now from columns gap drop down, select no gap. We don't need gaps because we are about to make to create overlapping columns, okay? Now I'll simply copy my existing text box column from the example below because no need to start from scratch and waste time on that. I believe everyone knows how to do something like that. My text box is represented by the group of widgets that include heading widgets, these two are heading widgets, a couple of spacers between them and the bottom and the bottom most is my button widget. So I'll just right mouse click on the on a column icon, I'll select copy. Now right mouse click on a column in my newly created intersection and paste. Let's delete one extra column, obviously the empty one. Right mouse click and select delete. Attempt number one, drag and drop image widget into our second column image widget drop it into second column I'll select image from media library let's select this one insert let it be full width and a bummer the very first bummer why well as you can see text box is way taller than our image and it might easily become even taller if we narrow down the view for instance. Okay, makes sense. Let's simply give it up right away because it obviously ain't gonna work as is. It's a no-no for using image widget in the second column. Not yet. Now the next logical step might be to set our image as a column background. By doing that, we can easily set image size to cover, thus making it as tall as the text box, regardless viewport size. I'm gonna give it a shot. First, remove image widget. We don't need it anymore. Next, highlight column. Be sure to highlight the column. 
select style tab background panel already open I'm gonna select my image for media library insert make it let's say uh, top 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 right position it set repeat to no repeat and size to cover we still cannot see the column background image because there is no content inside the column that's why I'll drag spacer widget to it it's just to add little something to the column and force it to reveal the background spacer and there it is alright it doesn't look like a bummer at this point if we resize viewport it still performs fine as you can see uh, now we can even make the image bigger than the text box in order to create that illusion of overlapping columns I'll highlight text box column highlight it by clicking on the, 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 the column icon go to advanced tab advanced panel and I'll add 50 pixels margin to top and bottom unlink first 50 to top and 50 to bottom okay so all is left now is to make these two columns overlap right and do that by using a negative margin on right hand side of our text box in order to push it a little bit right over the edge okay let's give it a shot and see how it turns out right negative margin of 50 uh, if we add negative margin of 50 pixels to right our left hand side margin can't be zero anymore it has to be 50 pixels as well positive 50 pixels you gotta think of it as a as a counterbalance because it simply doesn't work other way as simple as that don't forget to set Z index Z index to 1 or 2 let's say 1 it's gonna be fine in order to make text box column a top of image column by doing so it kinda works as you can see of course if you don't mind that non removable 50 pixels gap on the left hand side of course if you are about to increase negative margin or overlapping area the gap will become even bigger bummer now yep it looks like another bummer hopefully now you got a point why using negative margin doesn't work by trying to create overlapping columns now I'm gonna show you something that works for real but first I have to clean the mess up okay remove these margins uh, remove background image highlight my column style delete and remove the spacer widget okay first of all I'm not about to make the columns overlap in a technical sense but rather only visually that's what I said at the very beginning of this tutorial so instead of adding the background image to my second column I'll set it up as a section background more precisely intersection widget background make the intersection widget highlighted uh, mouse click mouse click on that bunch of dots or, or a grip icon or name it whatever you like open style tab expand background panel it's already there select background image from media library that's my image uh, position image to whatever suits your needs I'll select uh, center right uh, of course no repeat and set the size to cover now while intersection still highlighted open advanced tab advanced panel already open and add I don't know 4 EM EMs 4 EM padding to top and 
bottom unlink values four to top and four to bottom again add as much as you want but I'll stick to 4 a.m. I don't know this will make our image taller than the text box thus creating illusion of overlapping columns in order to add some some white space underneath the text box or rather to be able to control the amount of white space area underneath the text box I'll do the following reopen style tab expand background overlay panel and click on gradient icon now set the very first gradient color to white or whatever the background color of the rest of the page is mine is white so I'll use white as simple as that location option is what controls the amount of white space underneath the text box you can't see it yet but as you as soon as we are done with all other settings here you'll figure out what I'm talking about so I'm gonna use 30% for the purpose of this tutorial 30% now make the second color fully transparent and be sure its location is zero. Enter zero. Gradient type should be linear, so just leave as is. And angle needs to be 90 degrees. Finally, remove any opacity set to one. Leave everything else as is. Uh, we don't need any CSS filter or blend mode or anything alike. And there you go. Overlapping columns with no negative margins. Now if you move that location slider of the very first color, you can see how it affects the amount of white space. Okay. Back to 30. Let's check responsiveness. I'll click responsive mode tool or a button and select tablet first. And it, lo it all looks good. What if I select mobile? Oh, no good as you can see. This is due to the fact that Elementor makes all the columns full width by default for mobile devices. It's not a must, but rather due to practical reasons. At this point, I just need to be sure how I want my image and text box look like on mobile devices. And because there's no sense to keep them displayed as overlapping columns anymore, nor one next to another, I simply want to keep an image on top of my text box. I suppose that's the most logical layout type for mobile devices due to the lack of horizontal space. At this point, we have our intersection background image completely hidden by the text box, so it's pointless. I cannot move it elsewhere nor delete it, and if I try to delete it, uh, it'll be deleted for desktop and tablet devices too. Uh, that top and bottom padding actually make things look really awkward so I'll just set them up to, to zero for mobile devices okay I highlight my uh, section advanced and I'm going to set padding to zero all I'm left with now on the screen is my text box and an empty column below Remember the second column? I hope you do. We didn't use it at all. It's just sitting there empty, abandoned and alone. But now it's time to bring it up and see its true potential. Open Elementor's widgets library and drag image widget to that very column. Select identical image that we used for intersection background. That's the one. Insert media. Uh, I'll make it full size. Few 
moments ago I said that I want to keep my image on top of the text box but right now it's sitting below. How do I move it up? With intersection highlighted, be sure it's highlighted. While still under advanced tab, expand responsive panel. Turn on responsive columns mobile. There you go. As simple as that. Now you can see it sitting on top exactly as I want. Let's click responsive uh, mode button now and select desktop. Okay. Now hide elementors panel. Now just a little digression before I move on. By hiding elementors main panel if I this is how you show and hide Elementor's main panel. By hiding Elementor's main panel, all of responsive settings will take place. Otherwise, you won't see much. Once again, in order to be able to see responsive settings taking effect without leaving Elementor's workspace, you just need to hide Elementor's main panel. You see what I'm talking about? Okay. As you can see, our second column image widget is now visible for desktop and tablet devices. This is desktop and this is tablet and it's still visible. Which is something that we don't want. Is there a way to hide image widget for desktop and tablet devices only? Sure there is. Make our image widget highlighted first. Select Advanced tab, expand responsive panel and make it hidden for desktop and tablet. Ain't that cool? Let's see how it works now. Hide Elementor's workspace and the image widget is gone. Now let's switch from desktop, desktop to tablet hide workspace and it's still gone let's select mobile hide elementor panel and it works just perfectly next step let's check all out in Firefox Google Chrome and Safari update Check in Firefox. Yep. Looks good. Let's go to Google Chrome. Refresh. Okay. Yep. All good. Now Safari. Refresh. That's it. Okay, what if I want to have image on left and text box on right hand side? What if I want to switch position of my columns? No problem, let's do it right now. I'll duplicate entire section, the outermost section. That's the one, because I want everything to be duplicated as is. Right mouse click on that, that grip icon, that bunch of dots, and I'll select duplicate. There you go. Everything's duplicated perfectly. Now, first, I'll simply drag my second column and drop in place of the first one. Elementor is that smart, he knows what I am up to and columns content gets switched instantly. That's the step number one. Now I'm going to highlight my inner section, that's the inner section. Select style tab, expand background overlay panel and do some magic. Uh, my first color needs to become transparent, not white anymore. 
location setting must be 70% instead of 30. Hence the fact I am about to make the white space on the opposite side. Likewise, I'll make my second color non-transparent, white, and leave everything else as is. Maybe I'll select, uh, let's select different photo. Background. Insert. Just be sure that inner color, inner section and image widget photos match. The reason is obvious, okay? Let's test responsiveness. Desktop is okay if I hide elementors. Panel, main panel is okay. Now let's select uh, tablet. Hide it. Oh, right. Finally, mobile. Whoops! <laughs> Not quite okay. Our photo is below text, but that's only because I switched comms position for mobile view before I copied my section, while my text box was on the opposite side, re the side remember? Now, in order to fix that, I'll highlight inner section by clicking that grip icon or bunch of dots or name it whatever you like hit advanced tab expand responsive panel and of course disable reverse columns mobile and that should be it check all out once again mobile yeah there it is okay now you finally know how to do overlapping columns in Elementor properly, the right way. And that's it for today, girls and boys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, give me a thumb up, subscribe, spread the word, share, comment. If you do that, I'll make more Elementor tips and tricks videos. Stay tuned.